Um, hi? Time skips are a trope in Battle Shonen, but most only have one notable time skip, if any at all. However, the grandfather of modern Battle Shonen, Dragon Ball, has a ton of time skips, and some very important events happen in them. Like the very first time skip, which is often overlooked. In the second arc of the entire series, we have an eight month time skip. This time skip contains Goku and Krillin doing the training regimen provided by Master Roshi. They focus on increasing their muscles and endurance, since Roshi thinks the two will find their own unique fighting style on their own. Meanwhile, Yamcha is training in West City in preparation for the Strongest Under the Heavens tournament as well. And he even gets a haircut. These time skips only get longer from here though. After the 21st Strongest Under the Heavens tournament and the Red Ribbon Army arc, which includes Baba's Palace, we have a three year time skip. It may sound like a lot, but originally the Strongest Under the Heavens tournament was every five years. Lucky for us, Toriyama changed his mind. During this time off screen, Goku is told by Master Roshi to train around the world, eventually finding himself in Yahoi, a place described as on the opposite side of the world relative to the tournament grounds. Back at Kame House, Krillin, Yamcha, and even Roshi himself train so they could be prepared to face Goku in the 22nd Strongest Under the Heavens tournament. The Crane School, which includes Chiaotzu and Ten Shinhan, are informed of the last tournament and decide to enter the next one in order to beat the Turtle School. After the tournament and the defeat of Piccolo Daimao, Goku has agreed to train with Kami for three years in order to prepare himself to battle with Piccolo Jr. in the 23rd Strongest Under the Heavens tournament. If you haven't noticed yet, three year time skips are the most common by far in Dragon Ball. During this training, Goku actually uses the Room of Spirit and Time, also known as the Hyperbolic Time Chamber in the dub, for one month, as that was all he could handle at the time. But wait, if Goku used the Time Chamber for a month and the gravity is similar to King Kai's planet, why did he have trouble training with King Kai initially? We'll get back to that a bit later. Also, Goku learns to sense ki, how to fly, and the Namekian fighting style that both Piccolo and Kami use. As for the others, during this time skip, Ten Shinhan, Yamcha, and Krillin train with Master Karin, though as far as we know, none of them drink the Ultra Divine Water to unlock any hidden potential within them. A pretty big missed opportunity if you ask me. After they outgrow the need for Karin's training, the trio go their separate ways and train around the world. Notably, Yamcha gets his iconic scars off screen during this training. You may be wondering who could scar a person that powerful, and I literally have no idea. The next time skip we have is a big one, the five year time skip. This is the gap of time between Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. During this time, Goku and Piccolo train on their own with no masters. Piccolo creates a new technique called the Makanko Sapo, also known as the special beam cannon in the dub, that is far stronger than most other blasts in Dragon Ball, but has a long charge time. Goku and Chi Chi get married off screen, Gohan is born one year into this time skip, and the three live together in a home they've made on Mount Paozu next to Grandpa Gohan's house. Surprisingly, it seems like Goku and the rest of the cast haven't seen each other since the end of Dragon Ball because they are all shocked to find out that Goku has a kid when they reunite at the beginning of Dragon Ball Z. Speaking of the others, Yamcha may have cheated on Bulma, or at the very least did something that she finds unforgivable, so they aren't together anymore. Lunch has been gone for almost the entire five years since she went chasing after Ten Shinhan, and now you will literally never see her again. Based on later revealed power levels, Krillin, Yamcha, and Ten Shinhan seem to have kept up with their training, though they are still far behind the power of Goku and Piccolo. The next time skip is kind of on screen, so I'm sure some people don't even count it, so I'll be brief. There is a one year time skip from the defeat of Raditz to the arrival of Vegeta and Nappa. Everyone trains for the Saiyans. Not all of this is off panel as we see some important moments, but we don't see everything that happens, at least not in the manga. Very broadly, Goku learns the Kaioken and the Genkidama, becoming the first person to ever master these techniques. I said I'd get back to this before, but in the manga, Goku actually only struggles on King Kai's planet when he has the weighted clothes on. This makes the training in the time chamber he did as a kid, something we don't learn about till the Cell Saga, by the way, make a bit more sense at the very least. No 
struggling to lift an apple that at most weighs 10 pounds like in the anime. <laughs> While Goku is in the afterlife, Piccolo and Gohan train together in a wasteland. Half of that time is Gohan learning to survive on his own, the other half is them training together. Yamcha, Tenshinhan, and Krillin train with Kami and Mr. Popo until they exceed the need for Kami's training and wander the world to train themselves. For some reason, Grandmasters in Dragon Ball think that wandering the world is better than guided training, except for Whis, actually, and I think the results speak for themselves there. One interesting thing I'd like to point out is that we often see Yamcha and Krillin without Goku's iconic blue undershirt. If you look at the moment the Saiyans arrive in the manga, you can actually see that Yamcha, Krillin, and even Ten Shinhan were wearing Goku's undershirt and boots, meaning they did weighted clothing training for the time skip and chose to take it off before going to fight the Saiyans. This of course makes sense, they did train with Kami after all, but a lot of people miss this detail, so I thought I'd point it out. The next notable time skip is the one and a half years after Namek is destroyed. Three months into this time skip, the Namekian Dragon Balls are used to revive Krillin, which actually takes two wishes since they need to relocate his soul first. And then Yamcha is revived as well. Then three months later, the Namekian Dragon Balls have a shorter cooldown, if you didn't know, because Namekian years are shorter. The Namekian Dragon Balls are used to revive Ten Shinhan and Chiaotzu. And the third wish is used to take the Namekians and their Dragon Balls to a new planet to call their own. Like Europeans making settlements in North America, they threw new in front of the old name and called it a day. So the planet's called New Namek. In the remaining year, Vegeta lives peacefully on Earth, staying at Capsule Corp with Bulma and Yamcha as per Bulma's invitation. Training done during this period is ambiguous for most characters, except for Goku. After landing on Yardrat, Goku trains under the Yardrat elder Paibara and learns the basics of spirit control, enough for him to master instant transmission, a form of teleportation. This is also where he learns to use Super Saiyan more easily. While he did go from base to Super Saiyan on Namek at will once, it seems like Goku didn't have complete control over it until Yardrat. Vegeta and some of the others may have been training during this time, but it's really hard to tell what they did and how effective it even was. For example, if Vegeta did train, he clearly didn't obtain Super Saiyan yet, and he also didn't get strong enough to handle King Cold and Mecha Frieza. The same would go for Piccolo and the other as well, of course. One of the more well-remembered time skips is the three-year time skip. Yes, this is another three-year time skip between Future Trunks' warning and the arrival of the androids. There are two versions of this time skip, and I'll talk about both here. In the future timeline, also known as the original timeline, Goku catches a heart virus two years into the time skip and dies from it. Yes, he catches it two years after Yardrat. The heart virus has nothing to do with Yardrat. I hear you commenting. Stop it. If we go by the anime, future Vegeta gets Super Saiyan in this time skip as well. Yamcha cheats on Bulma for sure this time, and that's the reason the two split up. This of course leads to Bulma and Vegeta getting together, and finally, future Trunks is born a year before the androids attack. Other than that, everything else is pretty ambiguous, all things considered. In what we call the main timeline, the Dragon team are warned about the androids, and they train for the full three years in order to prepare. Goku, Gohan, and Piccolo train together on Mount Paozu. On this manga cover, we even see that it's Super Saiyan Goku training with them, which explains how Piccolo is stronger than Android 20 and how even base Gohan can kick Android 20 away. The two might actually be relative in power to Super Saiyan Goku. Though Gohan is just speculation, while Piccolo is pretty much confirmed. Vegeta trains in 300 times gravity for nearly the full three years, eventually breaking through his limits and becoming a Super Saiyan. Another notable thing is that Vegeta doesn't train in space like the anime shows. This is actually the moment when the gravity room at Capsule Corp is made, so he stayed on Earth and trained at Capsule Corp. However, despite Vegeta using Capsule Corp facilities and getting Bulma pregnant, Bulma says she doesn't actually live with Vegeta, even though she did live with Vegeta in the one and a half year time skip I mentioned earlier. Where he actually lives during this time skip is completely unknown. I guess Capsule Corp is so big that she means he doesn't directly live with her or something? Moving on, the rest of the cast train in unspecified ways and achieve unspecified results. The ones that show up to the battle should be stronger than Mecha Frieza, at least based on the narrative being presented, but people have contentions with that idea, so I'll leave it up to you to decide. Now this is the big one. The seven year time skip between Cell and Boo is the longest, or second longest, time 
time skip in Dragon Ball, depending on your perspective. But don't worry about that now, I'll talk about that more later. During this time, Vegeta acclimates to his life on Earth, reconciles that he can train while not fighting, and overall becomes a better person and parent, at least for the time being. Krillin stops training seriously and begins to grow out his hair. He marries Android 18 and they have a daughter together, Marin. No, not that Marin. Android 17 becomes a park ranger after being revived and at some point starts his own family. Though whether or not that's in this time skip specifically is completely unclear. As for Goku, he lives in heaven now. A lot of people get this mixed up, so let me explain. Goku doesn't go to King Kai's planet when he dies. He needs permission for that specifically, so he just goes to heaven. In this case, it's regardless of permission, of course, since King Kai's planet is gone because it was blown up by Cell. Goku and King Kai spend the seven years together training in heaven with dead martial arts masters. This is where Goku meets dead Metamorans and learns the fusion technique that we call Metamoran fusion or the fusion dance. Goku and Vegeta both train to surpass Super Perfect Cell and Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. In doing so, both unlock Super Saiyan 2. That's right, it was actually Vegeta's training that gave him Super Saiyan 2, not the Majin power-up. But the Majin power-up is the only way he was able to surpass Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Goku is able to surpass Gohan with training alone, and then push it even further to create Super Saiyan 3, a form that seemingly benefits from being used with a dead body. Back on Earth, Goku's influence isn't gone though, since Goten is born, having been conceived some time before the Cell game. Trunks and Goten become friends in this time skip, and both learn to transform into Super Saiyans at will. Goten specifically unlocked the form while sparring with Chi Chi, since she taught him to fight. Remember, in the manga, becoming a scholar was entirely Gohan's dream, not Goten's or or Chi Chi's. The final time skip in the original run of Dragon Ball, this includes Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, is a strange one, so I'll only mention it briefly. In the original anime and manga, after Boo is defeated, there is a 10 year time skip to what is called the End of Z. In this time, it's said that Goku hasn't been seen by Bulma in the last five years of it, only visiting Capsule Corp between unknown training trips. Five years into the time skip, Pan, the daughter of Gohan and Videl, is born. One year later, Bra, the daughter of Vegeta and Bulma is born as well. Gohan has achieved his childhood dream. Yes, again, it's his dream, not Chi Chi's, of being a scholar. Mr. Satan, with the help of Boo, wins two more Strongest Under the Heavens tournaments off screen. And finally, Oob, the reincarnation of Kid Boo, is born as well. Oh, and I almost forgot, Master Roshi got some wicked new shades. The reason this time skip is so weird is because it's not necessarily a time skip anymore. At least not in the same way. Dragon Ball Super Super takes place in that 10 year time skip. So with the original manga covered, let's get into modern Dragon Ball, AKA Dragon Ball Super. After Boo, there is a four year time skip. This little blurb in DBS episode one being that four year time skip. This is also mentioned in the original Battle of Gods movie. It makes sense to be a four year time skip since Gohan and Videl are both out of school and getting married. Anyway, during this time skip, Goku gets a job as a radish farmer. And as I said, Gohan and Videl both graduate school with Gohan getting a job as a scholar. In this time, the Yo Sung Goku and Friends Return OVA takes place, and I'll let you argue in the comments about whether or not you think it's canon. This is also the time period when a wish is made to have the world forget about the existence of Majin Buu, though they still remember that Mr. Satan saved them from something at the very least. At some point, King Kai's planet was remade, though King Kai is still dead. Goku trains on King Kai's world for most of this time skip due to him receiving money from Mr. Satan in Dragon Ball Super Episode 1. There's a one year time skip to Resurrection F that's broken up into two six month chunks. The first is when Vegeta trains with Whis, and the second is when Goku joins Vegeta, also training with Whis. In this time, God Key is mastered by the two, allowing them to become Super Saiyan gods at will. They also learn to mix God Key with Super Saiyan, creating an entirely new form, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, also known as Super Saiyan Blue. Also during this time skip, Frieza is revived and trained with Tagama, eventually creating the Golden Frieza form. There's roughly a one year time skip between Goku 
Black and the Tournament of Power. In this time, Goku has gotten somewhat rusty due to working and not training. Though in the anime continuity, Goku did have some training and fights such as his rematch with Hit and his training with Krillin, so this point is a little inconsistent there, but regardless, that's what's supposed to happen. Bulma also becomes pregnant with Bra at some point during this year, and seemingly it's closer to the start of the time skip since Bulma is almost ready to deliver Bra around the start of the Tournament of Power. From here, there's only four years left until the end of Z, so it's already eating into the supposed five-year absence of Goku that Bulma is mad about. There are no notable time skips in the DBS manga, so don't worry about manga spoilers, and between Dragon Ball Super Broly and Dragon Ball Super Super Hero, we can assume a three-year time skip based on Pan's officially released age for the movie, and that's all we know. But what good is it knowing the time skip when you don't remember the original Dragon Ball series? Watch this video for a fast refresher on the original series, and thank you so very much for watching.